Now, cars, trucks and other road-based vehicles are often viewed as the main sources of fine dust in South Korea. And while we shouldn't understate the negative impact they have, new studies have shown that ships are also a much bigger contributor to air pollution than many people think. Lee Sung Jae reports. Thick, black smoke bellows out of a large ship anchored in the harbor. The filthy emissions are constantly pumped into the air during the several days it can take to load and unload the ship's cargo. That's because the vessel's engines must be constantly running in order to operate various facilities and components in the ship. The fine dust that a large vessel discharges in a single day is said to be equivalent to a staggering 500,000 trucks. There are always about four to five ships here, and we're worried about the fine dust emissions. So the crew members always wear a face mask. Last year, more than 3,000 vessels came through Pyeongtaek port. Ships use low-cost bunker sea oil, which releases emissions that are seven times more harmful to the human body than regular gasoline used in most vehicles. The bunker sea oil, which contains a 3.5 percent sulfur content, is used oftenly. It's also being released into the atmosphere as it is, with no purification. However, change could be on the horizon. Last year, the Incheon Yonghun Thermal Power Plant installed an AMP facility which supplies electricity directly from land to ships, reducing the amount of air pollutants by 97 percent. Electric power supply facilities are already being used at ports in the U.S. and Europe. While such facilities cost around one million U.S. dollars each, the South Korean government is planning to subsidize the costs in a bid to slash fine dust levels in the nation. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.